Hello everyone and welcome back to Cavern Gaming with us today. We are back on at Dead of Night to continue our playthrough to find out uh, more about Jimmy. So, at the end of the last episode, we had just finished Dr. Bose's... Dr. Bose? Bose? We had just finished the uh, tragic tale of Dr. Bose. So now it's time to find our next ghost. And if memory serves, the next ghost on our list is Harvey. So... Let's go and find out where Harvey is. Um, some static somewhere. Uh, so I want the kitchen so I can use the scrying mirror, uh, which will be here, which is pretty much where I think I finished up. Oh, mirror of wisdom. Harvey, that's the chap. Uh, the scrapbook, yes, we picked up the scrapbook in the last episode. On floor number three. And then there's an unknown ghost, a fourth ghost, in the theatre room. Right, to floor number three. Okay, so we know there's a fourth ghost down here. Do do do, but we are not interested in that ghost. We are after Harvey, who is on floor number three, and it's the only clue we've got. So I imagine that we're going to be using the compass to try and discover where this particular ghost is, whilst of course trying to avoid Jimmy. See, there's no balloons on this floor. Okay. Oh, well, that's helpful compass. All right, so it's over here somewhere. Is it this one? You know what? I think it might be. Let's have a look. Floor num door number 307. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Don't tell me we've actually found a room that has nothing in it. Apart from a deadlock key for a room that's not even this one. Funnily enough, it might not be room 307. Might have gotten this wrong. Harvey. The scrapbook, yeah, we know it's the scrapbook. Come on, give us a clue. The ground floor. So did it send me here because it didn't realise I already had the scrapbook? Ugh. How do we get here? Over this way, I think. That's a dead end. Mm, can't hear you. I was about to say I can't hear Jimmy, but there he is. Room 301, 301, right, okay. Um, 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 uh, I don't have the key for this one. So, it's not gonna be in there, is it? No, it's the broken mirrors. The spyglass? Come on, he can't have seen me. I was too fast. Let's wait and see if a shadow appears. Oh, 
Quick, make it to the left. Can we escape? G, G, G. Hey, we escaped. Check that out. Jimmy ain't got nothing on me. Wow. Geez, a long way from three. Okay. All the way up there to come all the way down here. Okay. Behold, I am the great Hugo. Oh, great, has he found me already? I stand alone above all others. I am the light which illuminates the darkness. I alone am master. Okay. Flip it, heck. Is there a gas leak in this room? You noted the great Hugo on the stage. That compass is no longer working. I'm so confused. Where are we supposed to be going? Right, okay, let's go back to the kitchen where we, where this all started, come on, where are we supposed to be going? I'm so lost, so lost. Harvey, that's the guy I want. With the scrapbook, yes, I know about the scrapbook. Just come on, give me a clue. Well, this game has suddenly become annoying. Go to floor three. Go to ground. Go to floor three. I'm going to wear the lift out. But Jimmy's on floor three. I don't want to go to floor three. Ugh. Bad things are going to happen on floor three. Right. So what do I want on floor three? Well, it's definitely not this way then. Oh God, Jimmy, don't jump out at me. Definitely pointing that way. You pointing at this room again. Is there anybody here? Is anyone there? Hello? Is it Harvey? We found Harvey! Yes. Oh, for goodness I sake. someone on stage. A performer announcing himself as the great Hugo. I never knew it. Oh, okay. So that must be to do with ghost number four. Right, so... I saw a scrapbook with newspaper articles in it. Who made it? Jimmy. He used to keep cutouts of news stories about abusive teachers and doctors. Ah. He wasn't a normal boy. 
Well, we've already established he wasn't noble. I saw Dr. Bose tying a rope around his neck. He killed himself. Why? Because he'd been driven to it. Everyone thought he'd touched Jimmy. Jimmy was clever, you see. Too clever. The doctor had no chance. Poor soul. Man saying Jimmy lied. Here we go. That was Harvey. I know that was Harvey and the scrapbook. When you said you'd heard the story somewhere before, here we go. Does that have something to do with what you said about the scrapbook? Come on, our first pairing. It came straight out of it. Awesome. And as soon as I found that scrapbook, I knew where Jimmy had got it from. It was the same. Down to every detail. So why did nobody else realise? Okay, well, he's wandered off to somewhere else on this floor. Saving saved. Okay, so... Somewhere else on this floor. Compass. Flip it back, he's right there! Uh, come on, come on. I think I think we're far enough away. I don't have the key, I don't think. Uh, nope. You didn't follow me, did you? Did you? Oh, Jimmy! Hey! Hey! Hello! On the plus side though, we could save... Um... Oh no, did I want to go that way? No, I wanted to go that way. Oh, oh, static, static. Something's here. Okay, someone lost an engagement ring. We already have a compass, that's fine, and there was nothing in there. No, didn't think there would be. Nope. He's here somewhere. He's here somewhere. Both Jimmy and Harvey. There was definite static. Definitely a ghost there. Right, okay. We'll have to use the scribe mirror then to work this one out. Okay, where are you, Harvey? He looks a bit like Gollum from Lord of the Rings, I think. Through the peephole. Hugo. See, sometimes I think, how how would you know that if you didn't look at the scrying mirror? Oh. <laughs> Hi, Jimmy. Hello. Oh! Jimmy! I know you can hear me! 
Jay. No, he's behind you. I know where you made it up, your little story about that psychiatrist. I know where you got it from. I knew I'd read it before. It's in your bloody scrapbook. Come out here. Jimmy! Okay, so is Harvey on this side of the door or the other side of the door? Is it Harvey? Yeah, other side of the door where I'm not going to be safe from Jimmy. Right, if I just don't turn around, it'll be fine. Is it Harvey? Is it? Oh, good. I'm glad you can. Is it Harvey? Oh, for goodness sake. Come on. Hello? Why can I not click on anything? Is it Harvey? It said vaguely heard. I can hear you. Why does it keep saying Dr. Bose didn't have an answer? What is going on? Is it Harvey? Yeah, it's Harvey. Oh, I wasn't in the right I place. Shouted, telling Jimmy to admit he lied. Did he? That was a bit misleading. Of course he didn't. He just laughed. Then he started setting little traps for me. Ooh. Some of them not so little. By any chance, is that anything to do with Why washing line? Why there a washing line tied around a rolling pin? I don't know. Oh. Okay, what about sports bats? bats for? Okay. In case I need it. Was there a fire at the hotel? Was there? Yeah. They managed to contain it, but I lost a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Okay, so shouting through the door with the fire. When you said Jimmy started setting traps for you. Is that connected to what you said about the fire in the hotel? Okay. What about that and the cricket bats? When you said Jimmy started setting traps for you, does that have something to do with what you said about the crickets and baseball bats? Did he wander off? I don't know. How have did those mirrors get broken? Anything else, really? I don't remember that. What okay, what about the rusty, rusty keys? keys? There was the old boiler room door. Old boiler room door, eh? Uh, Who did the wedding ring belong to? Probably belongs to Rose. Uh, is Rose the next ghost, I wonder? Rusty keys? That's when no. you said Jimmy started setting traps for you, does that have something to do with those rusty keys? Uh, we're glad we get straws here. Uh, right. Why did the music start? I think I'm missing an item here. I do think I'm missing an item. Harvey. With your weird inflated head. 219. So, we're looking for something in 219, and then we've got to come back to 308. Okay. Mm, that's the bathroom. Okay. 219? God, my memory is awful. Right, here we go. 
Let's get clobbered. Bye, Jimmy. Bye, Jimmy. We're going now. I'm just... I'm just waiting for him to be in the lift one day. The door's open. Ah! Okay. Uh, 219. Two twenty one, I think I've gone past it. Two twenty two, yep. Oh wow, that's dark. Two nineteen. Okay, so somewhere in here. What did Jimmy do with that? Dangerous heater, right. Save. Now we've got to get back to floor number three. So, back down the dark corridor. One day I'm going to run into Jimmy. It's going to be horrible. I'm going to scream. It's going to be horrible. What was it? 308? I'm glad your memory is better than mine. 308. Uh, uh, oh, I've stood here. i have stood right here. Hello. Hello. I can hear you. Is it Harvey? Yeah, it's Harvey. Oh, good. Why is there an old heater marked dangerous? Yeah, why? It was getting electric shock. Oh. Kept it so the police could check it. That's not a very good heater if it gives electric shocks, but that when definitely sounds like a trap. When setting traps for you, does that have anything to do with what you said about the dangerous heater? Jimmy was always playing with electric. We got two. We got two. He was never the one who got shocked. I don't think he's a very funny guy, though, to be honest. At least he was nice enough to let me finish my conversation with um, Hugo. Now we get back to the lift. Oh my lord, how far did you take me? That is kind of right, my numbers are going the wrong way. There we go. Right, uh, floor one. Which is where I wanted to go anyway. Jimmy just helping me get there. Uh, yeah, at least he was nice enough to let me finish my conversation with Harvey. It would be really mean to uh, smack me over the head with a bat. Mid flow. Can hear whimpering. Yoink. God, 48%, that's all we've done. You need a compass. He took my compass! He took my compass, how dare he? Oh, uh, that's a dark room. So, this is clearly one of the respawning rooms. Ah, oh, Flipper, this is going to be a case of checking all the rooms. Okay. 
I don't think he's taken my mirror though. Because that would have just been mean. Okay, there's a door I can't get in. Come on, one of these has got to have a compass. Deadlock key. Another key, it's not what we're after. Do I lose all my keys every time he smacks me over the head? Probably. Come on. I don't want keys. Just give me a compass. That's the turpentine. The diazepam. We've been in this room before. Are you going to tell me? Hugo? Compass? 119. I was so close. Fancy take my compass off me. And I've hidden in the bathroom again. Can hear noises. But I think it's that radio. That radio isn't half annoying. No, that's definitely not the radio. Definitely not the radio. Are we just going to have to accept another clank over the head? Oh no. There we go. We know there's a compass in here. Compass! Yes! Points to nearby spirits. Awesome. And a purse, but we already know about the purse. Right. Save. Come on. Right. Mirror of Wisdom, guide me. One thirteen. Something happened in one thirteen in the corridor looking at a picture. Corridor looking at a picture. Give me a touch of memory. Right. One thirteen, I've got to look at a picture. That's the bathroom again. Really need to stop doing that. That's three times this episode, for those of you that keep it count. Didn't check the spyglass. What number's this? That way. One oh one. Oh my god, he was right behind me. There is no way I'm getting away with that. I've never known him try the door that quickly. He must know I'm here. He watched me go in. I'm dead. That's it. Game over. There's no way he's that thick. No way. Oh, 
Oh God, where's he gonna put me now? At least he's left me with a thing now. Oh, Nelly. Nelly, Nelly, Nelly. I was going to say that lift took a while. Back to floor one. All this to find flipping room one thirteen. At least I didn't lose my compass this time, which is always good. Thank you. Come on. 113. 113. I wish you could turn that radio off. Found it. <laughs> I found it. It's a dark room. Harvey? Is, it Harvey? is that you? Did you get shocked? Yeah, it's Harvey. I saw you suffering an electric shock. What happened? What do you think? He knew that was my heater. He dragged the casing straight to the main. Oh, he almost killed me. He did it deliberately. But Rose wouldn't have it. I knew he needed to be He damaged my property, so I decided to damage his. What did you do? Did you break the baseball bats? When you said you decided to damage his property. Does that have something to do with what you said about the crickets and baseball bats? I kept those bats for self-defense. I was angry. We made it for three. We did three. Oh, he made Jimmy angry. Four two. Oh dear, Harvey, what did you do? What did you do? Well, unfortunately, we're going to have to wait until the next episode to find out what Harvey did to Jimmy's belongings, which I can only imagine made Jimmy very angry. So, if you've enjoyed watching this episode, uh, albeit we only achieved three pairings today, uh, but if you've enjoyed this episode, please drop me a like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that little notification icon to be kept up to date with future videos and future live streams. And if you've got any thoughts, comments, questions, or queries, please drop them in the comment section below, and I'll do my very best to answer them and reply to anything that gets put there. So I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope you'll join me all in the next episode to find out a bit more about Harvey because uh, I don't feel we really achieved much in this episode but you never know, Harvey might be a short story just like uh, Amy was. So thank you very much for watching, I will catch you all in the next episode, cheers.